A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, June 20, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia, and I will be talking about Invest 92, which is approaching the states of Georgia and Florida, and is expected to arrive during the afternoon hours of Friday. It is not out of the question that it could become a tropical depression before reaching the United States. In this video, I will discuss the possible effects across these regions, particularly the eastern parts of Florida and Georgia, where we have a well-defined low-pressure system designated as Invest 92 today. We have observed a well-defined surface-level circulation along with some convective areas developing to the north and northwest of the circulation. Judging by the visible satellite image, this disturbance might be close to becoming a tropical depression as it continues its west-northwest trajectory. In fact, as of 2.30 p.m., a Hurricane Hunter aircraft is investigating the area to determine if a tropical depression has formed. In the infrared satellite image, you can see that the thunderstorm area remains quite active, with thunderstorms constantly developing near the center of circulation. This is why the probability of it forming into a tropical depression appears to be increasing this afternoon. As of 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center maintained a 40% chance of cyclonic development before reaching Florida or Georgia during the night hours of tomorrow, Friday. Here you can see the projected trajectories of specialized models, generally indicating a west-northwest movement until it reaches northern Florida or the Georgia coast by Friday night. At least the good news is that Invest 92 is surrounded by a lot of dry air, preventing it from rapidly strengthening. Specialized intensity models all maintain it as a low pressure or tropical depression until it reaches Florida or Georgia. So, at least that is good news, as we do not expect any surprise rapid cyclonic strengthening before it reaches the United States. For now, what is anticipated is some rain affecting northern Florida and the Georgia coast. Models project that 1 to 2 inches of rain could fall. Additionally, this low pressure could be accompanied by some tropical depression strength wind gusts, with sustained winds between 25 to 30 miles per hour, which should not cause any major issues across the region. Even so, I will be closely monitoring what the Hurricane Hunter aircraft finds, and will keep you informed of any significant changes in this forecast. Until then, see you in the next video.